there, Vault Dwellers. Follow us as we take a topic from the Fallout universe and discuss it in a group of diverse individuals. We are the Fallout Roundtable. Join us, the conversation has already started. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is Maverick Stone, and welcome to the first inaugural or the inaugural NPC Deathmatch Tournament Selection Show, or just the unveiling of the bracket. And what's the name I, of the show here that we're? we're, we're... <laughs> well, I know the show. Well, welcome to the Fallout Roundtable again. There we know. go. Oh, those people. Say, okay. Your your spiel got off there, like. <laughs> he's ad libbing on us, guys. Uh, I'm ad libbing, okay. guys. Isn't it scary? Okay. It is. <laughs> and, and here, and and on the panel here with me, we got Jaxus, we got Sulia, Eric, and we got Sassy Lady. And we're going to break down this this wonderful bracket. But first, how about you subscribe to our YouTube channel? You can see the bracket live on Twitch on Thursday. Well, that would be today. That would be today, but um, <laughs> normally we're live Thursdays, 8, 8, 8 p.m. It's I almost said 8 a.m. Recording at 8 p.m. Uh, we have a Twitter, <laughs> Twitter sphere at FalloutRTB, and we have a Gmail where you can send us stuff, FalloutRTB at gmail.com. Well, anyway, guys, let's begin. Yeah. Yes. Let's begin with these first selections. As you see, there is a blank bracket right here. It's blank. We need to fill in some names it? here. No, it's really not. I thought you'd already done this. He did. Oh, I did. I did. Maverick has worked really, really hard on this. Almost for we, the past month. He's been working on this for, yeah, at least the past two, three weeks, at least. So they're there. It's just he hasn't shown us at all. He yet. hasn't. He's not unveiled. Yes, yes. Let him unveil. Let me do my... Let him Vanna White. Vanna White it, you know? Yes, okay. Vanna White. Oh, okay, Wave you your go. hands. Do not need to. You have to be in the sexy mask. dress and Thank go. Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you. Dude. I almost thought about wearing my game show sh suit just for this occasion. Mm. Okay. Well, anyway, here we go. <laughs> uh, these uh, so, names. Okay, you'll have okay, to explain how these names were chosen. There. Okay, so we the chose these names. Uh... These names, uh, besides Mr. House, which for the longtime viewers, uh, viewers and listeners of the show, uh, House is overall number one seed in this tournament because he he won our very first bracket challenge at the very beginning of the show, like it, two years ago. Did two years ago, oh. not the beginning of this show, like the whole said, show. It, it, the this whole is the inaugural show. One. The first no, it, 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 this was like our first show. <laughs> okay. It was literally Way our first back show. I, when? <laughs> yeah. It, and, lo, and lo and behold, House can is a faction and and, and can a be an NPC. So, you know, why not? I've killed him. He's just that cool. <laughs> He's just that cool. So, killed him a couple times, actually. So, stop killing the Mr. House. here. I know. So I didn't know any better here, at the time. Let's zoom in up top here. See, I can zoom in. See, zoom. that was before I actually researched the lore behind the Fallout world. I remember opening up his containment unit, mm -hmm. seeing the shriveled old man. So here, so here, we, we will start up in this portion of the bracket. It'll, it'll be named the East Region because I like March Madness, and it's easier to count stuff from this. So, as you know, Mr. House is number one. Overall number one seed. He he has an automatic buy to the round of 32. Or a better Fallout name. Or a better Fallout round name. Yes, come up with a round name, you guys. Come up with something yeah. better than round of 32. Because we're stumped. But anyway, anyway, they, he will put, they will face ebbity, ebbity, the ebbity, winner ebbity. of the Master and Benny. How we feel about that? Uh, I'd probably go master over Benny. Yeah, I would say so. I think that Benny would end up becoming part of the master before the yeah. end of the yeah. <laughs> oh, it didn't mm -hmm. change that's, in here. That's a possibility. I have now, to are change we something after this? Are, we're not doing 
like we did before where it's just us. We're going to let. Oh, yeah, of course. Okay. I will get into that yeah. uh, okay. as we go on. I just on wanted here. to make sure because I know they didn't know. Yeah, yeah. It's as, as I go on all input, of it. guys. Input. Yeah. If you follow this us is, on Twitter, is, uh, decided awesome. by You're going the to people. love this for the next summer. Because this is going to go on all summer long. And then we got Kiri. I did not change this. I, I Kiri, was not the change. robot. Kiri in yeah. the, synth the synth Kiri. suit. Yes. Synth Kiri. That's synth what you should have called it. Synth Kiri. I, sh I should have. I probably <laughs> will. Kiri. I will change this after we're done here. Yeah. He, it will be facing Modus. Yeah. Uh, uh, Lucas Sims versus Porter Gage. Arch, Arch Duran, who is from Fallout Two, will be put facing my all-time nemesis, Preston Garvey. <laughs> I hate Sim. <laughs> Dog God will be facing Dean Domino. Dog God. Dog God got dog. Yeah, from the DLC for uh, New Vegas. Vegas. New Vegas. Dead money. DLC. Oh, dead money. Dead money. Oh, the the super mutant. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I played that one time. I, we were talking about this yesterday, Don. Yeah. I played it one time, and I still have PTSD from it. And that was <laughs> probably. Where did all my stuff go? <laughs> uh, Thirteen years ago. The the little creepy. Uh, the BP. Uh, yes. The shadows or whatever. Stop. I don't know. The hollow people. The hologram people. Whatever. So after, so after to keep keep the ball rolling, we got Desmond from Point Lookout versus Three Dog like of people. all people, and then to round out, I already East know of... what Eric's going to vote for because I already know he killed Desmond in the face because he didn't like him because he was like, uh, I don't yeah. like you, you're mean. <laughs> he he's an asshat. <laughs> and to round out the East region, we have Boone the Sniper versus Ironsides. So hmm. what what part of this brat what which one of these matchups you interests Hancock. you the most? Did you for, you forgot Hancock? I see him peeking out the bottom there. Keep going. No, no. Oh wait, is there no, like no, four? The, he, he, is he south or something? Oh okay. Yeah, he's down here. Okay, I got. You. I, I, oh, I, I, I understand I zoomed now. in, so it didn't, you know. Okay. So we could actually read the damn thing. Months. Yeah. Man. Yeah. So what what matchup here interests you the most, or? Uh, or could like could what do you deputize wanna, uh, Mr. House from going to the sur soul surviving four? I think it'll be interesting um, which way people go. Uh, you know, because I think some of these like people won't be familiar with them. Like they they probably won't be familiar with Arch Doran or Dog God too much. Maybe not Desmond. I mean, it all depends on what they played. You know, maybe people forget who Ironsides was. You know. So I would hope that maybe they will take a minute to, you know, Google it, find the wiki, whatever, and figure out who these yeah. people are and then go, oh, because I would like, I mean, we kind of tweaked the pairings because, I, you know, we want people to, like, think about it and then determine, like, so, for instance. Um, Modus wins it all. Like, yeah. Desmond Modus, and Free yeah. Dog. It was like, you know, like, good versus evil, basically, you know? A lot of these I are kind of like that. Curie and Modus, good versus evil, in a way. Especially you know? against a synth. Yeah, Modus is going to put the, yeah, he's going to take over Smack Curie. Down. But it's not, yeah. I don't, I mean, are we going with who do we think is going to like kill the other? Or is it like, which one do we think is the better NPC? Or is it, yeah, just a it's, matter it's... of a popularity contest? Probably a popularity contest. That's what I figured. I, I didn't know if it was like, oh, we're going to throw the Master and Benny in the ring and see who comes out. Because obviously, I mean, the, I, I would love to see it, see the Master just destroy Benny, but you know. Well, yeah, because like <laughs> you said, it's Benny's going to be part of the Master. He's going to be part of the Master. It's just going to be one more voice to add to the hundreds. <laughs> be like, Lawrence, draw us animation for this. He doesn't draw or, the animation. He'll have uh, to no, find somebody doesn't. to. I'll have to find somebody that. to commission that. That'll be interesting. Yeah, there's a so few let, let us move on here. As we move across the bracket. And I got to move my screen. Hold on. Got to move my people. Well, we can read it. No, no. On it. my screen, my oh. where I see you're talking oh, heads you are. and what's covering the people. 
Yeah, the Twitch uh, stream can't really see it. So, oh. oh, you are right. So in our bracket, in our bracket, we have two first round buys for the number one and number two overall seed. We'll get to the second. We'll get to the second buy mm -hmm. later later on in the selection show. So for first, um, so we're only going to Marcus the mutant right now. I think you need to move it over a little more. Yeah, just a little bit. No, no, too much. No, I'm kidding. I say, don't don't do that to me, please. <laughs> I can see half of people's last names. How about now? Okay, that now should be good. All right. Oh. Woo! Reveal. So, for all intents and purposes, for people that are on our Twitch stream, Frank Horrigan is going to completely kill. The Vault seventy six <laughs> overseer. Just that's well. It wasn't like it, there. it wasn't done by. Oh, let's put them in the ring and see who wins. It was done by who is the most evil. I mean, still, still Frank, Frank Horgan would, would destroy. <laughs> Wait, the this is most over. evil. Who's the most evil? That was Why what I thought when I was like, there? "Ooh, we should put these together." Well, I'm not, sorry. Not... Have you met the overseer? No, I We're, said Moira. Oh, oh, Moira, it's Moira, Moira was part of a Moira's different... against Rosa Raider bot. In case so so let, let me go so from top to bottom and then we can start talking about this. Originally, he put Moira against um, Frank Horgan. Against Frank Horgan. Oh, I was like, God. What? Yeah. yeah I Poor Moira. I love Moira. Yeah. I was like, so, so uh, let's days. start from, uh, from the <laughs> he top. He just randomed it. <laughs> yeah, I did at first. I didn't he really just threw names scenes. in and I was like, I don't love this. I much. used what I was given. <laughs> well, yeah. But I just I was like, no, this is a bad matchup. We can't do this. <laughs> so so for like I said, for all of us Twitch on Twitch, we're only going down to Marcus the Mutant. We're not going further down. That's the next region. That's the bottom region. Right. So this is the West, what I like to call the West region. It has no affiliation with like New Vegas or like more New Vegas. It's just something that it's know, a basketball thing. It's yeah. a basketball thing. You don't so, even have to be in the West to be the West region. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Indianapolis is in the Big East. Don't ask me how. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, anyway, up on top, we got Arthur Maxson versus David Thorpe. We got Robert McCready versus Kate. Moira Brown versus Rose, the Raider bot. We got John Henry Eden versus Joshua Graham. We got Lily Bowen versus... Eddie Winters, we got the Vault 76 over Overseer versus Frank Horrigan, who will more than likely crush everybody. And then we got a special matchup here for all those 76 people. We got Meg versus Paige. <laughs> Meg's probably going to win that one. Yeah, probably. I hope so, because... People don't really like the settlers. I don't either. Well, they're they're kind of boring, <laughs> to be yeah. honest. And Paige is kind and, of a dick too. So yeah, I was gonna say nobody likes. You know, hey, can you go find my crap that I keep losing? <laughs> oh, that's that's. Uh, and then our Ward. last Ward. Nobody likes Ward. Sorry, Ward. Nobody likes you. And then our la <laughs> last uh, matchup in the West: Sturgis versus Marcus the Mutant. So there. Okay, so looking at well, this what, a little what, bit more, what do you find I interesting out of these? See that the the people that I was talking about, who they're matched up against, is pretty good. Not just like yeah, so like Meg or I'm sorry, Kate versus McCready. That that's a good match. But, and see, I think that'll be a hard one because I feel like that'll be a harder. Personally, one. That, I like both of them, way. so it's going to yeah. be a tough match for me. Yeah, especially like I know people love McCready. I love Kate um, personally. But um, we see I love her here? too, but you know, so that's why it's hard because but I, I love time, both of them as companions for different reasons. Yeah, a lot of people thirst for Mary. So. Yeah, I know that's well. And it's hard. I mean, it's Matthew Mercer. What can you say? I know. I think I mean, you guys should have matched up um, John Henry Eden with Lily, because then Lily would have just batted Henry Eden like a <laughs> baseball. Wow. <laughs> I mean, Joshua Graham's got a pretty good following too, though. So he does. Yeah. Yeah, he does. so I, I keep thinking of it from a combat aspect. <laughs> right, so we, you're, we you're thinking of that. it as yeah, putting them in a ring together, and that's you know 
I think people it's are just going to vote for who match. they like. That's I, I'm yeah, wanting yeah, people to think main thing. more about them holistically rather than just, oh, who's going to like beat somebody up in a in a boxing ring? I want it to be like more of a holistic thing. Like think about overall. Like if you had to follow one of these two people, which one are you going to follow? Like which one yeah. are you taking with you into combat or which one Arthur are you Maxson. taking with you? you know? <laughs> yeah, we could have a potential Robert McCready, Arthur Maxson second round matchup right here wow yeah <laughs> but it's like you know i mean you got to think of it like that way like which one of these do you want with you all the time do you you know just you know so traveling remind, with you know hanging out with chilling sharing your secret thoughts you know whatever can you I mean, imagine like, you being want? that Ro- rose the raider being like your homie and you just chilling out and cruising i mean she i mean she will supply you with drugs y'all can so. kick back and you know yeah. do some psycho and jet <laughs> But um, remind people who David Thorpe is. David Thorpe is a very evil guy in Fallout 76. He is the guy that uh he, he was a business guy up up in the He was he was a corporate exec before the yeah, war. Yeah, there's a there's a Modus Files episode about him. And he but... used yes, his I remember I, I listened to that episode. I'm like he, that makes He used sense. his corporate exec takeover mentality and became a raider boss. He was the raider boss who blew oh, the was, dam he was and thirsty. flooded Charleston yeah. because he was angry that the responders had imprisoned his girlfriend. Which was and uh, he thought Rosalind, killed right? her, which he ended up Rosalind. killing her. Fun note because he drowned her. <laughs> mm. Yeah, the Christmas Day floods. Was it the Christmas yeah. Day floods the or was it Christmas Eve? But he thought she was dead, but she wasn't. She was merely in jail. And then he flooded the whole city where she was in jail. And then her and then she went memories and everything were put into him. Rose. Her memories were uploaded yeah. to Rose the Raider Bot. Yeah. Yep. So let let us move on to the south. To the south bracket over here. And then you just go do 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 do. <laughs> See like it's <I'm> easier. <laughs> So we have so we have two down, two to go. Let's keep on moving. Can you see that? Yes. Yeah. Don't go too high. Yeah. About right there. Is that good? Why don't oh, we take little. a quick pause before we get into this and yeah. take a moment to take a break? Take the break. Hi, welcome to Three Count Thoughts. Let me introduce the crew real quick. Hi, I'm Maverick Stone. I'm Romer. And I'm Jaxus. Join us as we talk all things wrestling. Each week, we'll take a topic from the wrestling world, knock it around a bit, and then go over the week in wrestling from a strictly fan perspective. We can be found on all major podcast catchers. We can also be found at Three Count Thoughts on both YouTube and Twitter. Or you can send us an email using threecountthoughts at gmail.com. Okay, are you ready? Ring the bell. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Now we are here to look at the South Bracket. And, of course, my eyes immediately go right to... Caesar and Dr. Braun being in a bracket together, and I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> I oh. thought that was a good one. Yeah, we like thought about that really hard. Yeah, we we were like, thought Dude, about that. This will be good. We were like, but, but let it good. let us break down the south. And Let's go to the south. Them, so. so starting off the south, we got Hancock versus Piper Wright. That's gonna be another tough one because another couple of yeah, favorites. but I think Am Hancock I might have a little POD bit of going through their head right now. It depends how many women are gonna vote, how many men are gonna vote. <laughs> What POD song? <laughs> Next, we got Myron versus Vinny Costa. Costa. Myron is the creator of Jet, y'all. Fallout Two. We're going. We're deep diving here. Yep. We're pulling. We got from James the from machine. Fallout Three versus Liberty Prime mm-hmm. himself. The big <sighs> guy, not the mod, not the iron mod. And keep guy. in mind that James is played by Liam Neeson with the voice yes. of the South. Yeah, that doesn't do anything for the me. I mean, he's a nice guy and all, but you know. Then we got Skinny Malone versus Paladin Dance. Skinny Malone, the monster. And there's some people who will be all over. And then Paladin the Dance. biggest, 
the biggest matchup of the South that everyone's looking at. Caesar versus Dr. Braun. One to watch. Honestly, I think Dr. <laughs> Braun would probably watch. have the edge in that one. I think they're both fairly evil. So well, they are this will be evil, good. <laughs> Father Sean and Nick Valentine. That's a that's a matchup. Well, not the kid, Sean, right? You yeah, know, that's father. why I put father yeah, in quotation father marks. Next, right? yeah. Yeah. But we're not there yet. We not got Cogsworth yet. versus Dima. Cogsworth, definitely. Two robots. <laughs> Two robot robot <laughs> fight. Yeah, but Codsworth's got all the like blades and all that stuff on him. Yeah, Dima got yeah, weird crap just coming out of his head. No, T- huh? Dima crap out of his head. Not just combat. Uh, Dima. Yeah, there, there's a lot behind Dima that's not right. Good. Yes, and then and then we have Ulysses versus Duchess, and the then the route and the, the drug stalk, dealer. Yeah, stalker <laughs> and the drug dealer. <laughs> like, do you know the, your backstories? <laughs> <laughs> is Paul and then to round out somewhere? the South, we have <laughs> Sean, Father Sean versus Nick Valentine. The father's in quotation marks. Your son, who's listening. now in charge of the Institute, versus versus uh, Nick Valentine, everyone's favorite detective. Yes, yes. So what? What? What is interesting? What what matchups do you find interesting in this bra- in in this region? I have one. I have a couple. Caesar and Doctor Braun. This. I think that's about it. <laughs> I like Caesar, Doctor yeah. Braun, and then we could I have mean, a Dima Braun. I think Hancock and Piper will be interesting because that will be like yeah, the popularity sure. contest. I mean, a lot of people find Piper annoying, but I mean, I like her. But I think a lot of guys a do lot like her. Of, you, Hancock has a an entire. How many people have written fan fiction about Hancock? Oh my god! This, I mean, so the art many. alone is ridiculous. So yeah, yeah. I, know I mean, there, he has a very are... thirsty uh, following. <laughs> uh, uh, just a little uh, personal note here: the only thing um, that has usurped him is the ghoul from the TV show, Danny yep. Chirago. If you ever hear me refer, to, like people kept saying that my uh, screen name sounds like an Italian puppet maker because on one of Fire Riders. Uh, Pod, or uh, streams she had him on there and he kept going Sorry, uh, yeah. so how many puppets have you created <laughs> and you stick your hand up their butts and i'm like oh god oh that's my god that's, stick, so funny. No. that's not how you pronounce <laughs> my name but thank you not not not, not any gonna today. Be able to escape that you have not yes, done that you're today. An italian puppet maker that's italian puppet maker now we know the origin of your name that no, no that's Liberty that's Prime versus James. Yeah. yeah. Liam Neeson yeah, that'll be versus... interesting, won't it? I just thought it sounded... Healthy. Your dad is contest. going to save yeah, the talk wasteland, about, yeah. providing clean water versus a huge robot who's just going to stomp out communism. Which one is the more good? Better. Yeah, Liberty more good. Prime, let's stop out communism. Versus somebody who's going to provide clean water for the wasteland? We can get and, that anytime. <laughs> yeah, we can do that anytime, anytime. Liberty again, Prime man. can do that in his sleep. He just has to stomp out communism first. <laughs> he can maybe distill the water, but I don't know. He'll pee out pure water. What are you talking about? <laughs> do we see any potential upsets here? Upsets? Um, you mean like unexpected? No, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm not probably Boone and yet. Ironsides. Well, maybe. Well, yeah. out of this region, we'll we'll do all the full thing after like, we're done. That was the last bracket. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, he's not in this. Bracket. Hey, we're we're still I mean, seeing the. I think Paladin well, yeah, is yeah, going to yeah. win. No, no, it starts here. If Piper Wright is to beat out Hancock, that would be a surprise. Yeah, that might be. A, yeah, I mean, it could happen. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. It be just Hancock's surprised. popular with both guys and chicks, right? Yeah, Piper, not so True. much. And drug addicts. Yeah. Drug he's addicts. Pro drug. Very pro drug. Yeah. Sorry for people that identify in different ways. I didn't mean to call you a chick. You're not a chicken. Unless you identify as a chicken, then you're a chicken. I mean, if if you identify as a chicken, be a chicken with all your chicken heart. We love you. So so let us move on to the... We got three down, (laughs) one to go today. If we got any good Let us move over. Hold on. Are you you talking about your buy first? Yeah, yes, we, we're, I'm going top up, to be honest. Okay. So this is the himself. Midwest. Welcome to the Midwest Midwest region. <laughs> I hope you hope you enjoy it here. 
Hey, they second, it's part of the Midwest. Yes. Yes. Uh, as Easy Pete's kicking everyone's ass. Get him, uh-huh. Gordy. Yeah, he's Blood the winner. Hell. He's the winner. <laughs> so, so let us begin unveiling the Midwest. The the second first round by is dog meat. Hey, uh, and, uh, and, and easy where easy Pete's name is, you got to put in parentheses, Gordy. Gordy. Gord- oh, yeah. oh yeah, that's his real that's name. Easy Pete's name, man. It's Gordy. Yeah. It's easy really? Pete's name. I actually <laughs> met him la- last. I didn't know that. Yeah, I met him last year. Coolest Sorry. dude. He will be fa- <laughs> uh He will be facing the winner of Harold versus Longfellow. My kids actually got an autographed picture of Gordy or Easy Pete on her wall. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> nice. You know, if she gets tired of it, like send it my way. Because <laughs> that's just fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and dog then, meat got the buy because he's dog meat. Yeah, dog like meat got the buy because if I didn't, someone else would hurt me for it. He's dog meat. Hell I mean, he was going to win Hell anyway. So, oh, yeah. absolutely. Probably should have just like that. That looks like a grandfather him. That, that that looks like a good good bracket there is Kellogg and uh, Colonel Autumn. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that we didn't have enough Fallout Three characters. Yeah, so, EZP I, against King. Actually, I think he's. I made sure this whole to bracket, no problem. submit people from all of them except for Tactics. So. So yeah, I didn't I actually no. It's more seventy six, but I'm I like I didn't have any from Tactics. Yeah, well, he yeah, you were saying we needed some more seventy six people. That was when we tactics. pulled out Megan. No, I don't even know characters from Tactics. Are you kidding me? No, I don't either. So going up, going up from bottom because on the bracket it's the second round buys at the bottom for some reason. Uh, we have Paladin Taggarty versus Graham and Chally. I made Graham. an exception to because the rule they because are they are separable. Yeah, they come together. Yep. And then above. Above that, Kellogg versus Colonel Autumn. That is yeah. a tough one, actually. That's a good that, that, yeah. I mean, Kellogg's good more of an asshole, but like yes. Autumn is, you know, I mean, he's, he's, he's a calculated the, asshole. He's the defecto, he, he's the uh, defecto leader of the, you know, enclave for the most part. Oh, he's, and he's, 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 he's the guy willing, that does the dirt, you know? He's willing to sacrifice everybody. He's like, yep, let's do it. And it's like, yeah. okay. <laughs> on with the enclave mm-hmm. yay above him we have Virgil versus Rose of Sharon Cassidy I love Rose and Cass I think Cass. she goes by mm-hmm. Cass yes I, I included the full name so people wouldn't be super confused Mr. Or New that they Vegas would be super confused mechanist. <laughs> mechanist mechanist I always say that wrong then we have the mechanist versus no, Mr. It- New Vegas is it the mechanist from Fallout Three or the mechanist from Fallout Four? Because there is a difference. I'm thinking there is a four. Big difference. Yeah, I think, I think, four I think it was three, four, but I forgot to specify really it was four. Spend as much time with three. Um, yeah, true. I think four. I will because be tweaking the bracket after we're done done with this episode. So uh, we will. So it will be better spoken. This is the Fallout Four mechanist, not the Fallout Three mechanist. Yeah, it makes. It makes more sense. Kind of like how I put E in with the Fallout 1. Because no one really Yes. Uh, Then we have Easy Pete versus King. Easy Pete wins everything. He's going to win the whole (laughs) thing. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hey, why don't you take old Rexa here? And then we got He's got all that dynamite. That is true. He's got all the dynamite, so. Don't blow yourself up. Yeah. Then we got (laughs) Fox. Versus Ian from Fallout uh, from the original Fallout. So I think both of those are mine, but <laughs> that definitely. Fox. I came up with Fox too, but I think Fox like we got a lot of, of the two duplicates. for sure. But I think Easy Pete still went over Fox. Do do we have do we have a consensus on uh, well who we think will make it out of this region? Okay, I'm out gonna, of this I, region. So it's yeah, it's between region. Dog Meat and, and and Easy Pete for me. And I'm gonna have to go with Easy Pete. Cause go with me. Easy Pete to go to make it into it's the the. I have a feeling it's, it's gonna be dog meat. Dog, dog meat going to the final four. and Kellogg, or the sole surviving four, as we call it here. 
Now going back up, that that ends the complete. That is the complete bracket here today. The introduction. We, the introduction. We will be discussing the the whole bracket now. Who do we think could win it all? Now that the whole bracket has been released. 40. Yeah, probably. Are, did we ever make the decision on whether it's going to be double elimination? Mm, I no. made I made the the executive decision to single elimination oh. this year. Okay. Next year, we'll do double. It'll probably be double elimination. Um. But next year we'll be so much better prepared. Are we talking about the whole bracket or just this side? The whole bracket. Who do you think could win it all? I don't remember who's on the other side. Easy now, beat. Let dog meat's move. definitely going to the. It probably I mean, is dog meat's dog probably meat going to go house. pretty far. Can you guys see that? Yeah, I well, I can. I don't know if anybody on. Un... Yeah, yeah, I see. see let's see. Dog meat it. versus uh, I mean, house. Modus Hancock could potentially and... go far. House could go far. I, I feel. Um, I feel if the master of Benny beats house, that's a big upset right oh, there. No, as no. our oh overall God, yeah. no, well, I'm just that thinking happening. that the people I mean, that possibly Nick could be potential. like voting on this might have actually got the opportunity to meet Gordy Easy Pete, and they're automatically <laughs> going to look at him as their favorite, and they're going to go, "You know what? That dude is so cool. <laughs> he needs to win the whole thing. He's going to like pay I, people to vote for Easy Pete." <laughs> I might. He's gonna create sixteen Twitter accounts. So he I can know. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> easy Pete, obviously. <laughs> easy Pete. Easy Pete. Like, where are these Pete weird through? new followers coming from that are all voting for Easy Pete? <laughs> How popular is Jax's? Can he really bring him in? <laughs> Find out next it. week. Crickets. Right. Crickets. 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 <laughs> I, I think Preston Gravy will be going down. <laughs> Preston Gravy, I believe. Preston, Preston gravy? gravy. Unless people really love the let me mark it on your map. The <laughs> mark it on your map guy. Boone has potential and to go pretty far. I can't see long nuts going very far. What about the uh, dog? I think three. Modus has potential. It is three dog here. I think Boone has potential. Hancock, obviously, probably. Probably. Hancock's massively popular, so yeah. yeah I, see, I, I see Hancock by going himself, to the final four. Himself, I feel like yeah. I, 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 I'm interested to see how America. Caesar and Doctor Braun goes. I that would love to see. Yes. I want to see that because we could get a whoever wins Cogsworth versus Dima. That that'd be the most weirdest matchup in round two. Ever. It's probably going to be Cogsworth because I mean, a lot of people may not have played any of the DLCs and they might not really know much about Dima. So, that's true. That's true. Or they just might remember the like stupid puzzle to get Dima's memories God, and be like, yes. I hate him. Dima's blue nightmare. <laughs> Automatically <laughs> just hate him. <laughs> I think Valentine's got a possibility. Valentine's got he's gonna he's go one of my favorites. He's gonna get pretty far right. within his bracket, but I just yeah, I see I him, see him yeah. coming out of the bracket. I see him being beat. He could by make it Caesar. to like you know the top eight, maybe. A deradiated, yeah, I, I, I see him being beaten out by Caesar. That's just oh, in the nuclear sixteen. Okay, that's, that's a take. possible. That's possible. possible. But you know what? But... It's not about who's toughest. It's about who's better popular. overall. Popular. Yeah, and he's pretty popular. tough himself. And remember, he can pick locks <laughs> and terminals. <laughs> yes, you gotta remember the intelligence level of Caesar. Yeah, yeah, but he's also he's dying. <laughs> he's also dying. <laughs> no, it's not gonna stop. I mean, he will live he, forever. He can cure that. He will live so, forever. So not only that, but you've got a lot of people out there. Like I know from watching the cosplayer show up to these. Events, oh yeah, no, there's a all lot of Legion. legionnaires. Yeah, so. There's a lot of Legion. Yep, there is. <laughs> they're gonna go hail Caesar, and they're gonna yep. follow Caesar. So yep, you know the. I don't know how many numbers that is, but eh, eh, yep, you never know. It is. It is quite possible. You know, there's a lot of people that dress up as Valentine, too. So mm -hmm. if, we're, is, if we're going strictly by popular... I mean, I've seen some really good cosplay for Valentine, but it is a little harder to pull off with all the makeup and stuff. So, all right. Um, so how are we doing this, Mav? Like, so we've got the initial brackets set up. So when are we going to announce the winners of the first set of brackets? And how is that being calculated? Is it via email? Or well, how are well, we getting uh, our votes? We will have you guys, the, the viewers, 
vote on vote on a lot of these. We will be uh and after a certain amount of time, I I think maybe like until the next to like Monday or whatever, the Monday when we release episodes, they will be closed. We'll we'll update the bracket and then we'll give an updated one at the next episode because this this thing is supposed to go all summer long till about August. So the people won't hear about it until Monday. So they'll it'll, have it'll to buy, have time it'll be to tweeted, vote. It'll probably be tweeted out beforehand. So well, I'm a, gonna. That's a long time. So I'm time, gonna be posting. So. Are we doing like pairings. daily polls or? I, yes, we'll I'm be doing, doing polls. polls. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna. I'm gonna post polls for people. So what to I would do. On. What I would go ahead and do is, I would set up timelines for each set of these brackets so that we can narrow it down. And you know how you got this first set of brackets here. Everything for the first set of brackets, north, south, east, and west, even if we do like one side at a time, yeah. depending on how that works. But you want to make sure that you have distinct time frames and make sure that you have just the voting for those particular areas so that we can narrow it down. And then once they've got that bracket set, then we move on to the next one. That way they don't get confused trying to like vote for everything. You know so there's I mean? one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight per area. So if we did we would need basically to break it one up per day. Weeks. Yeah. That and, gives us like Monday to see Monday. Guys, look at me. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So yeah, if I do Monday further. to Monday, that's eight. So that's the that could be the first week. I feel like the first week needs more time because there's more stuff to look at. Yeah. And then, I and then I that. created my own little separate little brackets. Why? I was oh, for when you broke it down. So you have to yeah. send all this to me. You have to send yeah. all this to me. Yeah, I'll send so, it So, yeah, I, I, I would make it clear to everybody. So this is your when you do your poll, you can just set it up. All right, this is the poll for this particular week. Right. Boom, boom, boom. Everybody gets to vote uh, via uh, Twitter, I'm assuming. I mean, I can even post it on Facebook, too. I can post oh, it in like Twitter the big or Facebook groups too. as long as all of the reactions get sent back to us somehow, you know, so we yeah. can actually calculate to get, yeah, I have to, you know, I have to calculate everything. Yeah. That way we can find out how many people pick Benny over so and so or right. whatever. And then uh, we got to make sure the world knows about this. So everybody out there listening right now that's chilling out in the, in the, in our uh, Twitch stream there, uh, we need to blow this thing up. Like, well, let everybody make else know in the community. Big. Yeah, this ought to be a lot of fun. I think yeah, this we want be some fun participation. Yeah, yeah, like yep. get in there and. Vote and for I want to do this every year, baby. <laughs> so <laughs> let's make favorites. sure that we're blowing this up inside of our Discord. Inside, mm -hmm. you know, make sure Tom, uh, make sure Robots is uh, is aware of the whole thing, and uh, you know, promote the hell out of this thing. Uh, we can have some fun with this. Yeah, absolutely. And, and as of right now, it says start tournament. The tournaments. Officially starts. Ding, 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 ding. ding. Wow. Right in this corner. <laughs> <laughs> Tournament starts right so, now. This is going to be fun. Like, yeah. I mean, I can even start this. I can I can start polls tomorrow. So. Yeah, yep. Yep. Even though people aren't going to know exactly what the hell it's, they're talking about. Because I mean, we can set it up and yet. then when this episode comes out, we'll start next week. Yeah. Well, no, we can go ahead and get going so we can have some results by next week. Right. I mean, because, you know, people love, a, you know, they love picking, you know, like they love a good poll. What you can do yeah. is you can start it off and leave the poll running until like Wednesday or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or even later, you know, it doesn't I'll just, matter. I'll put like one pairing out or two pairings out a day and just mm -hmm. leave them open until. Yeah, Tuesday or Wednesday. So I have time to pull the results together. Yeah. Yeah. Because then we can plans, have it all man. together for the next show. That would be awesome. So okay. so the first region, if we're going to go region by region, would be the East with our number one overall seed. Seed Mr. House waiting to see who he faces, Ma the Master or Benny. So House wouldn't even be part of the first um, no. No. no, because no, he he's already got his seat. Next... Yeah. He, he's already got his spot. He's whatever in, we're in calling the round, of the round of 32. Right. I still feel like it needs a name. It probably it, it will, but yeah, I'll let y'all be I, creative. <laughs> I am excited for this thing. I've put a lot of hard work into this. I see that. 
He did. Yeah, a lot of effort here. And that yeah. is why in our Discord last weeks before, I asked for you guys to send your 15 most favorite people. And this <laughs> yeah. is what happened. And we did. <laughs> There was some at, at random bids because I was trying to fill spots. But... And then he just, yeah, we we he we filled in some holes and. I tried to be as got... creative as I could by branching through yeah, all like, the different. Yeah, like Doran. Yeah, that's I had what I was... to look yes. him up because I'm like I I don't remember who that is. Well, I didn't know if anybody would know who Frank Horrigan was because it's oh. from one of the older games, you know. No, we all everybody knows who Frank Horrigan is, but yeah, the the arch the arch yeah, Doran, like from I was old, like I only knew that because I just you know? watched it and same with yeah. Ian, but I came up with. There was one that you had that I came up with, and it was like I think it was Arch Doran. I think I came up with him too. I forget. I had no. no it, I had was, some, uh, it was. It was Joshua pop-up. Graham. Well, yeah. All but three I I of you guys stuff. had Joshua Graham. Oh, I was going to put Ian down. I was going to put him down, but I, I think we were talking about it, and you said that he had had him down. So I was like, eh, I'm not going to do it. No, no. no did we all put did. down Joshua Graham? Yeah. I, all I don't think I know I who's not in there though that I noticed. Did I? Is, yeah. You don't have Lanius. Yeah, you did. Oh, okay. We don't have who? Lanius. Lanius. No. Lanius. Yeah. I always say his name wrong. There Lanius? were some people that we were like, ooh, we could use him. And we were like, oh, next time, because it was already getting so big. Yeah. It was already yeah. getting big. And yeah. uh, originally, originally we we're going to have the number one seeds, not including House, like Arthur Maxson, Fox, um, I mean. and Hancock all had first round buys, but we couldn't figure it out. So it was just the two. We, the you, you were building the bracket. I was just here for the names. Yeah, <laughs> I couldn't figure it out. He was building the brackets and he just threw some names in there. And I was like, I don't love these match. Let's change them. And he's like, oh my God, now I got to fix the things. And I'm like, okay, now that you did that, let's yeah, do this so too. And he's like, sense, oh my God. I gotta, honestly, I gotta though, if you did, <laughs> from looking at what's in front of us here and looking at the different matchups, I think it was a good call for her to tell you that no. I because I'm like looking at it right now and like these are really good matchups. Each one looks well thought out, you know. Um, well, it wasn't the fact that I had to move them. I was fine with it. I, I actually yeah. agreed with. It was more it was like just, trying not to screw yeah, up existing matchups to move yeah. it up. He was everything. trying to make sure that he'd like move the one guy without I was moving being... three other people. <laughs> and yeah, I'm like, okay, as soon as you're done with that, let's psycho- do this one. He's like, what are you? <laughs> I was being super psycho at this. It was, it looked really crazy. I'm glad he did it and not me because I was just like, F it. We're going to start over. <laughs> That's what I would have done. Yeah. And then on top, if you see my tabs up top, you can see in East, West, South, and Midwest. I made all these their own thing. Also. Awesome. Yeah. That's what you should send me is those. Yeah. I'll share these with you when we're done here. Yeah. Because th- those are easier to look at than this. Yep. Yep. They so don't being have in the middle the of summer of and mentioning all these things, I want to bring up real quick just a reminder to everybody that we are having an event at Good Springs, Nevada in Woo! November. And you want to make sure that you RSVP uh, just so that, you know, Stephen's got a good idea of, you know, who's coming and where. Um, I don't know if you still have that link somewhere maverick but you might want to put that into the show notes at some point i'll see if i can find I it, have for it you. because i just rsvp'd the other day okay yeah good put that link in the comments so that people can find that and then uh folks you know uh, if you are coming out there a few things to note is they do have camping areas you are not allowed to light fires there at all uh because we are it's in the, the desert, desert. Yeah, and, don't don't yeah. burn down the wasteland. <laughs> so there's no campfire, so it'd be cold at night. So if you've got some sort of heater or electronic device like a generator or something, then you know, obviously make sure you know what you're doing out there. But be safe. Yeah. yeah. And uh even though the desert is uh kind of cooled down at the time, it's still the desert. Make sure you bring lots of hydration, lots of water. Hydration does not mean yes. Michelob. Beer. 
<laughs> or, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I so, have to like tell people this all the time. I'm like, you need to drink a lot of water. Like, I drink plenty of beer and coke, and I'm yeah, like, yeah, there's yeah, water that's... in my beer. Uh, no, that's not right. Good credit. That um, no. But also, mm -hmm. folks, Nothing? if no. you're planning on you know having a really comfortable time, and you would like to get a hotel room or something like that, I would suggest getting on that early. Like, don't mm -hmm. hesitate. Don't wait because the closer we get to the event time, the faster the the, the hotel, now I'll tell you right now, Buffalo Bills is like the one place to get a hotel room that's right there. Yeah, and there's, there's not, and it feels it's fast. not a metropolis really that you're going to. There's not yeah. a lot of, a lot you know, of holiday inns around there. hotels that are in that area no longer are available <laughs> to be able to be used. Okay, the old Hard Rock, it doesn't even exist out there. You know, um, does uh, Terrible's Hotel does not exist anymore. You know, uh, during the pandemic, mm -hmm. a lot of the area of Gene, Nevada had suffered very highly due to the lack of commerce going through that area. So those casinos really suffered sucked. badly. Yeah. And they're starting to build themselves back up, but the reality is what it is. There is very few things to choose from there on state line. And if you want to have the ability to, you know, drive down the street and be able to go to bed because it's time to go night night and you might, you know, not want to be driving all the way into Vegas or into Henderson, which is where I live. Uh, Y'all don't want to do that. Then you might want to get your hotel rooms early. OK. I okay. yeah. stayed in Henderson last Never year. Never bad advice. It was a great time. No. Well, you were Never in Boulder City, actually, I think, weren't you? Dude? Yeah, I, I was right and outside. even if you're not sure yeah. if you're going, yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was closer ground. to the Hoover Dam than Las Vegas. Yeah, you can always cancel. Yeah, because, yeah. you know, find out what their cancellation policy is or if they or if you can transfer there reservations some to somebody who is wanting to go or something. It might cost so. you a little bit of money, but. Usually, yeah, closer you get. usually not unless it's like very close to the day of. Right, right. So, but. I would say better safe than sorry. Have a reservation. And so a lot of the times, so you want to, the, the thing about Vegas is, is the price of stuff is dictated almost directly by what's going on. I think F1 is coming back that weekend. Yeah. Too. So if we're going to have, oh, <laughs> Lord, if, that again? If, if the race is hit again, then that means you might have <sighs> some trouble getting rooms. Uh, mm -hmm. There might be conventions in town. Uh, there might be rodeo conventions and things like that because that's about the right time for that kind of thing to happen. So you guys want to take those kind of things under consideration when trying to book rooms and things like that. Um, if you're looking to get rooms in Vegas, one suggestion I would make for you guys is kind of think more along the lines of the Henderson area as opposed to getting a, a room on the Strip. A room on the Strip a could be two hundred, two to three hundred dollars You can get a room at Sam's Town for about a hundred bucks. You know, maybe 150, depending on what's going on. But there's also the Sunset Station casinos, things like that that are in the Henderson area. That would be a cheaper alternative for you. Or obviously the Motel 6s and things in that area. But um, for further details on those kind of things, I would definitely hit up your your, your little Google machine and uh, maybe hit Expedient.com. You know, that, that. Hit your pit boy. Yeah. Pit boy yeah. working. Pit boy. <laughs> But yeah, take those things under consideration, please, when you guys are planning your, your trip. That way you guys have a really good time and you're not struggling trying to deal with stupid issues like logistics. Okay, guy, guys, I have a story to tell about last year based on logistics. <laughs> okay. Okay, so as uh so my mom and I we you Jaxus, you've met my mom. Uh yeah, that's kind of part of me you being there, yeah. Yeah, really yeah, I cool. was there last year. I don't know what happened to you, but yeah, your mom's cool. So, uh, <laughs> so we, so we landed at the airport. Uh, we thought everything was done, and uh, we go to go get our rented car. And turns out, I can drive a semi across across the United States with millions of dollars worth of product, and um, I'm not going to say the rental company because I hope they would sponsor us one day. <laughs> but they were going to charge me an arm and a leg to rent a car for the weekend with, because I was under the age of 25. 
Uh, that's based on insurance. That's everybody. Yeah. yeah. That's based on insurance, buddy. Yeah. That, that, it doesn't everybody... matter. That It wouldn't yeah. matter if it was Hertz uh, rent a car or if it was, you know, Joe Blow yeah, rent a car. They're going to yeah. go by your age and your insurance level. And yeah. once you reach the age of like 25 to yeah. say 26 yeah, years year old. Supposedly you're more responsible. Then, your but like males yeah, under know, the right? age of 25. Yeah. Uh, you're all like the highest insurance. I mean, except for people that like. Do go out and get in wrecks and beating tickets and whatnot. Or old farts like me. No, <laughs> I'm sure your life, your insurance is fine. <laughs> Unless you, you go out and get in wrecks and stuff. Beating Man. tickets, wrecks. But yeah, no, no. Uh, we had to, uh, my mom had to uh, rent a car Cheaper. that night. Um, mm -hmm. so, so that's what happened. It was not that fun. I can't believe that you didn't know that. I forgot. That's just policy. You have I a humidifier or something going off and behind you? It's a diffuser. Okay, I was going to say, I just saw a puff of smoke. Yeah, I thought it was a diffuser. It's, it's um, like motion detected, so it'll just like... I thought it was fragrance. I once thought it was an air freshener. Well, it, it, it kind of is. Yeah. Basically, it's just it uses... Natural essential oils and it, stuff. It senses farts and then it automatically Gross. goes off. Well, the dog has a bed back here. <laughs> you can't see it on the floor. Her dog, my the dog sleeps back there, so you never know. It it's could awesome. be. By the way, the stream is seeing me and a little the top bit of my of, head. Yeah, because I oh, stopped yeah. sharing. You need to resize your picture. Oh, hey, how does that happen? I don't know. You're the one in charge of that. You're the engineer. I you're, wasn't you're the twitcher. Yeah, I gotta pay attention though. That that that's kind of a key factor. It's like it there we does go. help. Why didn't anybody scream? I just looked at it a little, little while ago and it I was just noticed fine. it. I just noticed it. I didn't notice it before. It's hey, it. we're Justin, back. you're fired. I okay. mean, if you want to be, but classic T you're not wearing a class myself. You're not wearing your oh, mask. Cool oh, is. and by the way, everybody, I am so sorry. I've been not been around the past couple weeks. I got heat stroke. And uh, that Mr. Sucked. New Vegas got yeah. heat stroke. Yeah. yeah. Well, I Sucks. I've been trying to get my truck fixed, and it's been a pain in the ass. I had to change out my like gas pump assembly, which is the whole thing, and yeah, I had to change all my O2 sensors, and uh, it just keeps piling on and piling on and piling on. I had to change my catalytic converter. There's a couple grand, you yeah. know. Um, like I have sunk so much money into my truck recently i uh, i want to cry um but right now i'm dealing with misfires and other things so i gotta go through and diagnose whether or not it's fuel injectors or if i've got to change out Holy the cow. ignition coils yeah and i've got to do that before november so that i can drive Yeesh. back and forth and you know uh, oh yeah and then i got to be able to register my vehicle yeah no i'm not driving illegally at all <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah yeah Nevada emissions is not nice. It's like worse than California sometimes, I think. Anyway. Uh, really? It can be. Yeah. yeah, well, it was funny because we're right next to Arizona. Who doesn't care at all? <laughs> he, <laughs> yeah. he just light a campfire and drive into, with the back campfire going in the back of your truck. Um, but, uh, yeah. Back of your truck. Uh, like, yeah, we're, we're rusting marshmallows back here. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's funny because we have, like, emissions and stuff here, and supposedly they, like, get on you, but I'm like, I've seen some cars drive around here where I'm like, how is that? How are y'all passing? Cause things burning rich, and, you know, there's, like, all kinds of smoke coming out of it, and I'm like. That don't sound like a diesel. I, you shouldn't be having that kind of a puff. Like how are you making it? <laughs> Understand. I thought blue smoke was bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, well, we got the bracket sign lined up, and Sassy's going to be putting some polls out there. And yes. I think we covered yes. everything for this week, guys. I think it's time for us to wrap it up and call it a night. Yeah, it's going to be fun. So I'm looking forward to yeah. seeing what everybody votes yeah. for. Yeah. And we some, just um, wrapped upset, up. Some, we uh... just wrapped up the deep dive series last night. So right, you, so I've yep. got episode fun. eight to. Uh, Go yep, ahead that's and, in the and drive. I'll have that um, going here soon. I have. Did you guys ever get 
when the you... episode to upload to podcast. Oh, episode three that you were having such a tragic problem with, which is weird because I would yeah, go the on there. What was that? That was weird. I, I, was, I was well, going I on to the drive you, and it worked so I, just fine. I yeah, that's talking... the problem. I, I did the same thing. And when I upload it, it sounds like nails on a freaking chalkboard. Uh, For about yeah, 10 like seconds and then there's a commercial. Okay. Did you do what right, I so, suggested to download it to your computer and then try uploading it into the? That's what I did. I, you did that because JSTAR said try to save the file as like a wave file and then upload it to Megaphone. Hold on, let me while we're here see if that works. Yeah, because the listeners. Yeah, really I always <laughs> put mine out as MP3s, but I mean, she would. She's been podcasting a lot longer than I have. Yeah. All I know is like when I look at it on the drive. I can play it on the drive. It plays fine on the drive. Right. It's I know he played only it when he tries to mess fine, around with it. I've downloaded it onto my computer. The only thing is doing have, something to it. You know what? So I the tried only to... other thing would be is to maybe try and upload it with or something. Other than maybe Megaphone. I can get into Megaphone finally because I was having trouble getting into Megaphone. So if I it can get into Megaphone, Megaphone, then problem? I can upload it for him. Yeah, it might be a Megaphone problem. Yeah, it might be. But the last week's episode. Uh, did fine. The audio audio was fine. If you didn't see my my uh my uh my message on our Discord, where I had that meme, no, I'm, see, I'm like I'm done. Getting, I still keep getting this internal error every time I try to use my sign in for megaphone. That's weird. So because I'm fine. Anyway, you could just try resaving it as a different file and then see if that works. Yeah, it could have just been some weird glitch. Could be son of a glitch. I, know. <laughs> I mean, uh, I still have the file. I mean, let me hold on a second. I mean, it, yeah, it uploaded to. Uh, I've oh got a copy of everything, fine. so. I have a copy. Oh, no. I didn't Yo, know you were still having copy? trouble with your car. Oh, Lord. Uh, uh, there we go. Uh, shows. And uh, it was three, right? Yeah. Episode yeah, I'm three. pretty sure it was three. Of course, it's two. No, I don't want to subscribe to Nitro. <laughs> paying you people nothing. Hell no. Saw what you guys did to old Kenny there. Mm. Did him dirty. Do you hear what happened to Guild or Gilded? Uh-uh. I think you I now did. have to have a Roblox account to be able to use it. Roblox? Yeah, because apparently yeah. they own Roblox. Oh, my God. Like, why would I do that? It's that's... so annoying. <laughs> that's just crazy. Like, why would we... That's Trying to push uh, Roblox subscriptions or something? I guess. Because Roblox is dying. Let's be honest here. My kids I've love that it, stuff, so... man. My kids play I mean, the my hell kids out of that. played Roblox for a period of time, but that was like a really long time. My kids are still playing it like crazy. As a matter of fact, every once in a while, I'll get on and play with the kids, so... Yeah, I mean, they've... All right, Both so I am going to give this a little addition to its name so we can one, one, one. By the way, I think the episode's still going, isn't it? Like, we're still recording. Yep, we're yep. recording. Yeah, we're still okay. recording. All we're this will probably get taken this out. This is good podcasting, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> this is the look behind the curtain. Yes. As we tried to figure out what's what the... We're jerking the curtain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, right. you know, so if you've been wondering about what happened to the deep dive series that Eric and I did, we did two episodes and then just forgot about it. We didn't. Well, I've you got go every to YouTube. All of the episodes and they're all there. YouTube, yes. <laughs> they're all on YouTube. Yeah, they're, they're all, all there. Actually, yeah. is episode eight there yet? Well, probably not no, because we eight? just did it last no, night. No, you just got me. It is one. not there. Right, 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 I, right. I, I, I think we, do... we recorded it until what midnight or something. I'll have eight. About ten. Or no, it's eleven your uh, your time. Your, okay, yeah. yeah, ten my. Well, that's time. what it was. Yeah, it was like eleven because you were yeah, like. Yeah, sometimes you guys just get on little time. chatty yeah. Kathy mode, and I'm like, okay, two hours in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's well, called the, the Midwestern one. goodbye. Yeah. Now I did. I think that's I what we're doing right watch, now. It's actually the Midwestern goodbye. I saw something on yeah. YouTube. <laughs> yeah, this Midwestern goodbye. I did. I saw something on YouTube because we were talking about. Oh, should we come back with? Um, we like fan theories or like conspiracy theories or whatever. And I saw one. There was like there eight new eight, ones out like, there. They weren't that interesting. Mm -hmm. And we already talked about most of them as we did the deep dive. So I was like, well, that's no fun. I thought I was going to get some good, you know, material. 
but I did, no, uh, did. I uploaded a second version of episode three into the drive. So now there's two of them in there. You can play with that to your heart's content. Try to figure out how to make that work. And I don't know why. You know the, the difference. Years. I do know the difference. Hold on. The, okay. the end of one of them says one 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 on it or something. Anyway, it's time to say good night, everybody. Say good night. Yep. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good morning. This podcast is part of the Robots Radio Rocket Club, a program designed to help all podcasts reach their full potential. For information about joining the Robots Radio Rocket Club, check out robotsradio.net.